Let's turn attention to infrastructure development in Adamawa State, where residents are commanding Governor Umar Fentiri for various projects he has embarked on within the last nine months in office. They say his performance has surpassed his last four years in office. Correspondent to Wolabi Adenusi filed in this report. The economic challenges facing the nation have significantly affected implementation of capital projects by some governors in the country. Although subsidy removal by President Tinubu-led government has increased the state's allocation, while some state governments are making use of the increment for developmental projects, others are still lagging behind. In Adamawa State, Governor Umaru Fintiri of the PDP will be remembered for his massive investment on infrastructure, health, education and security. It's barely nine months after Governor Fintiri assumed office as a second-term governor, and residents say his performance supersedes his last four years in office. The work Fintiri is doing in his second term uh, in office is more than the four years. Uh, work they have to do uh, simply because he promised the electorate that uh, he made so many things that was not promised. Fintry didn't promise the people of Adama State that he's going to build flyover in the state. He has done that. The principal special assistant media and communications to the governor highlight some significant achievements of Governor Fintry. The ongoing construction of a 20.8 kilometer dual current subway sub-highway connecting Numa Road to the Gibson Jalo Road through the Malkohi Ring Road, when completed, will change the general outlook of Jimetayola Metropolis by easing the over-congested Numa to Jimeta Road. Another contract of 17 kilometer Bajaburi Housing Estate Road and Link has been awarded. The Fintry Administration to me, it's like a divine intervention in the history of our dear state. However, in the face of dwindling earnings for average households, the Fintiri administration introduced the Fintiri wallet that empowered 10,000 people, mostly women and youth, to establish small-scale businesses to better their lives. Residents say Governor Fintiri has proved beyond doubt that he is in touch with the people.